This is your Buck News. Hello, I'm Ethan Hooper, and welcome to Buck News. As the final exam clock ticks down, the stress meter goes up. So CSU will be providing stress busters this week. Tuesday will be Aqua Massage Day with hydrotherapy massage, water beds, upright back massagers, and therapeutic foot massagers to help students deal with exam stress. This event will last from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Whitfield Center Conference Room. On Wednesday, you may be asking who let the Dodds out. It's Therapy Dodd Day in front of the chapel. Come play with a few four-legged friends before you go barking mad from exams. The Dodds will be on campus from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Here at CSU, we are passionate about creating and preserving memories. If you're interested in reflecting back on the fun times you've had throughout the school year, you can purchase a CSU 2017 yearbook for $60, which will include 200 pages of your favorite events, organizations, and programs that happened throughout the year. You can purchase yours today either online or over the phone through the options on the screen. For more information, contact Kevin Corleolon at kcorleolon at csuniv.edu. The academic year is coming to an end. It's time to recognize the 655 students who will be graduating this spring. Charleston Southern University's 2017 commencement ceremony will be held on Saturday, May 6th at 10 a.m. in the North Charleston Coliseum. Vice President and General Manager of the Boeing Company will deliver the keynote message. Some of the most popular degree programs from the class of 2017 were Business, Nursing, Kinesiology, Criminal Justice, Elementary and Early Childhood Education, Psychology, and Biology. Congratulations, graduates! Other events happening this week are the Athletic Banquet on Monday and the Horton School of Music's Percussion Ensemble Concert. Tuesday, don't forget Stress Busters. Then, in the evening, is the Horton School of Music Spring Finale at 7.30 p.m. And some things students really look forward to, the midnight breakfast right before exams start. And it's time for finals, so if you're looking to squeeze in a workout to get the stress out, the Brewer Center has plenty of classes for you this week. And here's Aaron Bailey with sports. Hi, I'm Aaron Bailey, and this is your CSU Sports Update. The women's golf team competed in the Big South Conference Championship with senior Shelby Thompson wrapping up a stellar collegiate career with a ninth place finish. CSU placed six as a team. They also set a single season scoring average record for the third straight year. Thompson and Haley McNeil earned all conference honors. Men's golf also competed in the Big South Conference Championship with Jaquace Wilson placing six to lead the Bucks to a fourth place showing. Jay Gazelle finished tied for 11th and was named to the Big South All-Academic Team at the post-tourney award ceremony. Women's tennis was unable to top top seed Winthrop and had their season come to an end in the Big South Conference Championship match. Bucks finished the season with a 17-3 overall record and 7-1 in Big South Conference play. CSU's 17 wins is the second most in program history. The baseball team fell short against the Citadel and South Carolina Upstate, then swept all three against Radford with the bullpen again stealing the spotlight. Softball was unable to overcome the Gamecocks and dominant pitching performances by Longwood. CSU's track and field teams closed out the 2017 regular season with Tajerica Robinson finishing second among collegiate athletes and third overall in the women's 100 meter hurdles. Check out CSUsports.com for all of the men's and women's results. CS will be back in action in the 2017 Big South Outdoor Track and Field Championships, hosted by CSU on May 10th through 12th. Up next, CSU baseball is a way to take on Wofford, and softball will be away at Campbell. Don't forget to check out CSUsports.com for our summer schedule of softball and baseball games. Thank you to all the fans who came out to support the students this semester. I'm Aaron Bailey. Go Bucks! Push up and up instead of dropping out. Communities and Schools for the Charleston area is a nonprofit agency that surrounds students with a community of support, empowering them to stay in school and achieve in life. The Push Up and Up Challenge is a unique push up competition to raise awareness and funds to support proven programs in dropout prevention. 
The event will be on Saturday, April 29th from 9 a.m. to noon. To register and make online donations, visit pushupandup.org. If you're looking for work on campus, Residence Life is in need of cleaners, residence hall maintenance, lounge attendants, and office assistants. They are accepting applications for both the summer and the 2017 to 2018 academic year. You can apply on the student employment website below and make sure to complete your FAFSA now for best chance at receiving funding. And that's your Buck News for the week. To submit news, photos, or video, email bucknews at csuniv.edu. Visit our website or social media for all the latest news. This is our last newscast for the semester. On behalf of the Buck News crew, good luck on your finals, and go Buccaneers!